Hey everyone, Anthony from Basin. Uh, we're back with another video. This video is on uh, our form builder. Our form builder is a tool that uses a drag and drop uh, interface um, borrowed from Form.io, which is an open source project. And it basically works in conjunction with our form endpoints, so you can easily develop and deploy forms um, on any web platform. In this example, I'm going to deploy these to WordPress because it's easy to edit but it can really go on any website, Shopify, wherever. So if we drill into the docs, it kind of explains a little bit more. There's some demos in here, but we're gonna head straight into uh, my Basin account and click on one of my forms and head into the Form Builder tab. So you'll see here I have a blank slate. In this example, I'm gonna build a quick contact form and we're just gonna get you know, the typical first name uh, last name and we'll have a we'll include a little message probably message uh, perhaps you want to collect email so there's an advanced field that uh, not only validates um, also make sure that it's the correct syntax for email and we're going to say that this is uh, required under the validation tab so now we have first name, last name, email required, message. Maybe we'll say message is required as well. Um, <clears throat> so we'll take that off. So we have first name, last name, email, message. And maybe that's good enough for our first example of the form. Actually, we should add recapture too, probably. It needs some spam checking. So we'll just drag in the recapture component and we want it to trigger when the form loads. So we've we've created a decent little form here, first name, last name, email, message, recapture. You can go to the preview tab. Um, this is one preview of our form. There's different designs you can choose from. Maybe we want the Yeti. And then there's also, you know, you can add in custom CSS, custom head, back to the preview, good looking form. Now it's time to uh, export it. So you can take this URL and point people directly to it and have your form hosted by us. That's fine. Or you can embed this form into your website now. So we've got some helpers that'll help you um, come up with different variations. So in this case, I want it to automatically resize. Um, I want it to center the iframe and I'm gonna to wanna to redirect the parent page. So this actually requires me setting, setting over here. Let's redirect to, um, let's redirect to usebasin.com, which will just take me back to my dashboard. Maybe we should go to the spam check AI. There we go. Oh, doesn't like that. Okay, so if we go back to our form, we can see we've generated some iframe code. We're gonna take that, and I have a WordPress website here. This is gonna be my contact page. You go slash HTML. You can enter custom HTML, paste in my iframe code. On any website, you can just include this as it would be. We'll update that. And I can preview my page here. So, I mean, we could obviously set matching backgrounds or fixed width on this. And I'm just gonna say Anthony Penner, Anthony Penner, email is Anthony at AnthonyPenner.com, message, testing my form builder. And we've got the recaptcha, and that's it. It redirects me to the website I put in, which is pretty good. So that's probably the most basic example of the form builder. I mean, obviously, you can play with different variations of how this looks. Um, you know, if you set, if 
you set the background color on the previous page, we can probably get this form. We can probably get this form builder to look better on this website since we have such a dark background. Most websites have a white background, anyways. It wouldn't be as as blatant. Uh, yeah, I think that's a pretty good demo of how quickly you can build and deploy forms with our form builder. Uh, contact uh, support at usebasin.com if you have any specific use cases or things you can't quite figure out, and we'd love to help you. Um, get going. Uh, thanks for watching.